going to learn about mead making. I am at Walker Honey Farm uh, down in Rogers, Texas, and they have been around for four generations now. I'm with the owner, Clint. We started mead making nine years ago. Okay. Uh, we were one of the first three Texas meaderies mm -hmm. and helped form Texas Mead Association. Our motto here is bead a bottle, okay. and so it was a natural for us, uh, instead of just putting honey in the bottle, to ferment that honey first and then put it in a bottle, so okay. bead to several bottles. Awesome. Yeah. I actually didn't know you could do that, yeah. um, so let's go learn some stuff. We are in the fermenting room now, and this is the head mead maker. How are you doing today, Chase? I'm good, how are you? Good, can you tell me what you do in here? Uh, absolutely, um, well, this is the room where honey turns into wine, or mead uh, is what we call honey wine, um, and that actually doesn't take much time at all. Uh, 10 days to two weeks, and that's done. Oh wow. The long part of the process is getting it to look pretty. Uh, I actually just finished running a batch of our blackberry mead okay. uh, through this filter press. The proteins, kind of making this glass look a little darker, yep. uh, are things that would have eventually sunk to the bottom of a bottle. And all my friends in the you know craft beer industry and home brewers out there are gonna know that sediment is not harmful. It's actually, actually can be good. We're gonna run a hose uh, from the very bottom valve of that tank in the tank room all the way to this fixture right here. And this machine just basically pulls all of the air out of the system and okay. it just drops it straight into the bottles once you got them on there. The, filled bottles uh, go into our cellar to age. How many bottles do you get out of one batch of wine? A general full batch is about 1,600 bottles. What's going on here? Uh, this is also mead, but this mead did not make it into bottles for anything. Okay. Cheers. Thank you very much. It smells good. Let's try this. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, uh, the aging just really smooths it out. You'll taste honey, you'll taste alcohol, you'll taste blackberries. So we've made it over to the store, and let me just tell you, this is absolutely beautiful in here. Uh, we want everything we do at Walker Honey Farm and Dancing Bee Winery uh, to be an expression of the beehive, one way or another. And so we've got many different varietal honeys uh, that you can taste here in our store. Um, these are all just named for the floral source that the bees are gathering nectar from to make the honey, and they all taste different. We do creamed honey, peanut butter and honey, beeswax, soap and then of course the natural extension was we have all this honey let's start fermenting it into mead. Piment is just a fancy word for a grape mead okay. so it is grapes and honey fermented together okay. uh, and this is our first true estate piment meaning we grew the grapes that's going to be an annual release okay. um, and this uh, should be available early December this year. The tap line is where we will like test recipe ideas. We also do our non-alcoholic uh, honey root beer Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. That's really good. If mom and dad want to do a wine tasting, we've got something tasty and made from honey that the kids can try as well. Well, we really appreciate the time today. This place is awesome. Absolutely. Definitely encourage everybody, definitely check them out. First Saturday of the month, they do tours, right? That is right. First Saturday of every month. I'm definitely going to bring my family down. You should too. Um, what's the best way to kind of look you guys up and, um, you know, plan, oh, a, plan a day here? We're on Facebook. Um, we have a pretty active Facebook page and our team uh, will definitely respond. If you have a question, uh, submit it there. Uh, you know, or give us a call. We're excited to come back next time to hopefully see the bees flying.